I am Divya Ramachandran and I have recently joined as director of Bhavan's Middle East. In fact, I have been parachuted in. I am a qualified chartered accountant and I have a practice in India. So at this point, I do have mixed feelings about leaving my team behind. At the same time, I am also excited to be a part of Bhavan's growth. Hey, hey, already for your first day in Bhavan's. Bhavan's Middle East established its first school in Kuwait back in 2005. Over a period of 15 years, Bhavan's Middle East has now grown to 10 institutions spread over Kuwait, UAE and Bahrain. We currently have a total of over 10,000 students studying in our schools at any given point of time. So if you look at the Middle East region, would Bhavan's be the largest education institution? Well, uh, in terms of geographical locations in the Middle East, perhaps, but we don't look at it that way. Numbers and locations don't really matter. What is important is to provide personalized attention to every child. You know, every child's requirements are different, and our aim is to identify them and take the best out of every child. And at some stage of our growth, we won't be able to provide this kind of personalized attention. Which is why we don't win. I hope it's a really low key welcome. Yeah, around 500 people. What? Today Divya has joined us and we are excited about her joining and I feel that uh, she'll be a pillar for this management and the, the best part of our management is the hands-on way they work and the process and systems are in such a way that uh, every child is taken care, not only the children, the teachers also are taken care. When a student greets a teacher or a teacher greets a student, it really comes from their heart and we can very well feel it. When I moved from Bhavan's Kuwait to Bhavan's Abu Dhabi to take up the position of the Vice Principal here, in no time I felt at home. The welcome I received here from the students was fantastic and it made me feel that I am a part of a big family. It's not just about students, it's about teachers too. Teachers make the best use of the opportunities provided to them and the school provides The school provides for teachers in every way and as a result, we have a high level of stability amongst teachers, which has been a prominent factor for our growth. We are the highest rated Indian school in Abu Dhabi to be rated very good and this could happen only because the management, teachers, students and parents work together and in full cooperation. And I always use the word Bantu, which means I am because we all are. During my college days, I had the opportunity to work in the missionaries of charity of Mother Teresa. And we always had her visiting our college and talking to the students. And I think that influenced her a lot. 
and she used to always say that if you cannot give anything to the needy at least give them a smile and i think that influenced me a lot and that drove me to work during my formative years in an orphanage and that was there was so much of passion in in teaching and i find the same passion in the management where i'm working now and that is why i feel the school with lot of passion dedication sincerity it has reached great heights so can i ask you something why bhavans why bhavans why are you taking my secrets out this is my own secret without your secrets i cannot be successful something we have to okay i'll tell you my secret no, bhavans established in india in 1938 when education was not commercialized education to me is not a commercial business it is actually a service to the community so when i looked at all over india and many other institutions they are all in a different way they set up afterwards they were commercialized so bhavans even until now they are not a commercial institution they are actually service oriented to the community so another one of your principles is that you don't have a secretary so how does a parent get to meet you it's not only me all my schools there's no secretaries I don't want to build or I want to make a gap between me my principals and the parents and the children and I don't want to bridge them with a secretary it's an open door policy in all the schools any parent any teacher any student they can walk in any time they can meet all of us in fact I want to be more connected to my parents and more connected to my children and to my teachers open door anybody is welcome any time to any of our offices and then the essence of it is I want to take every child every parent along with me no one should be left behind for any reason do you know why my parents put me in garden because i like to be invisible i like to coast in and out of school without anyone noticing me and my parents know that this is not possible in garden bonds middle east have for the spirit of education and this is seen in their reasonable fee structure so the economic climate does not determine the continuation of a child's education Another factor which was very important for us was for our child to be exposed to Indian values so that we have consistency at home and at school and there is no confusion all this gives us a peace of mind as of now you are you will be based in adain overseeing uh, our two schools there alsad indian school and uh, pearl district school you are from cbse school right yeah cbse why do you ask so it's just that sometimes we do hear uh, a lot of comments about cbse not being up to speed with times cbse is actually a misunderstood curriculum because of the uh, wrong implementation cbse if you see is a very structured focus and compact curriculum the focus of the curriculum has always been on the implementation application of knowledge there are 20000 schools of cbsc in india and abroad so definitely there is something right about it in our case we place a lot of importance on teacher training so we make sure that all the teachers are trained on on the curriculum and the methodology uh, designed by the curriculum i'm on my way to bhavans pearl wisdom school in la which opened up in April 2019. Hi man, namaste. Namaste. Yes, sir is behind. Behind. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Hello sir. Hi Ms. Divya. Hi sir. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Alay. Thank you. We currently have classes up to grade 4. So we would go up to grade eight next year in April 2020, and then add a class every year 
up to grade 12. Is that it? That's correct. Our admissions are open for the academic year 2020 and admissions are going on. We have confirmed many admissions too. We have been encouraged by overwhelming response from parents. The school is situated in the school area in the city premises and it will be convenient for the parents who, stay, who are staying around here. I have grown through the bond system. I started off as a teacher, then became the vice principal, and I am the principal. It's all because of the conducive environment Bhagan ensure for their teachers through the professional development sessions. We offer minimum 30 hours professional development sessions for our teachers every year. Bhavan's Middle East's new school in Dubai is nearing completion and will have its first academic year in April 2020. Is that a swimming pool there? Yes, that is. We also have a football field, tennis court, a running track, amongst other facilities. So children in our school will find themselves spending equal time in academics, sports and other co-curricular activities. So, um, will the Dubai school have a different approach? We are fundamentally very Indian in our values and principles. And this is well appreciated by our parents. Our Dubai school will be no different and will definitely be following the same values and principles. We are now reaching out to parents in Dubai who appreciate this schooling system and would like their children to be a part of the Bhavan system. Both of you are coming from Bhavan system. I heard the Bhavan's anthem being sung. The last time I heard it was 25 years back. I remembered every word. If student moves in and out of Bhavan schools in the Middle East, and if they can settle down elsewhere, wherever they go, and if they succeed in that approach, I'd be very happy about it. But to achieve this requires the support of a large ecosystem of like-minded teachers, staff and parents. I am because we all are.